Seasoning a pit is something that you probably should be doing regularly as you're using your smoker to cook, especially on offset smokers because almost all of them are made with raw metal rather than any kind of high temperature paint because as you cook, the metal expands and contracts and it'll chip the paint and the paint never really lasts. So a, a better way, an easier way that most people find is to season the outside with oil and then you build on a permanent coating that protects the metal, keeps it from rusting and makes it easier to use when you're trying to cook your food because you don't wanna put your food on rusty grates. First, let's talk a little bit about the science of why we need to protect the metal. So metal, you can imagine as a bunch of atoms that are stuck together and they can bend, they can warp, they can be powdered into sheets, they can be spun into wire, a bunch of different things, but they hold together really well. But rust doesn't hold together very well. So if your metal is exposed to oxygen, moisture, and high temperatures, there's a high likelihood that it's gonna rust. And rather than the metal sticking together as one chunk, that rust will flake off and eventually eat its way through the metal. So we need to do something to protect that metal from the element so we don't rust through it and then you have a compromised smoker. And so to combat that, we take oil and we heat it up and in that process, as that oil heats up, it polymerizes. Essentially, you have a bunch of fats that link together and form kind of a plastic-like coating on the outside of your smoker. And if you keep going, that plastic-like coating will carbonize and you essentially have just a layer of carbon around the outside of the metal, which means that it's gonna be protected from oxygen, protected from water, and therefore is less likely to rust. And so for me, almost always, anytime I fire up a smoker, I will coat the outside in oil. Now, one note about how we coat the outside in oil is I like to do it when the smoker is cool because if you do it when the smoker's hot, the viscosity of the oil is going to be such that it will run together in streams and you're gonna have a streaky finish. If you don't want a streaky finish, what I found to be the easiest way to deal with it is to spray the oil on the metal when it's cold and then you build a fire and then it kind of forms an even coating all around the outside surface. And so what we're doing today is we're taking a brand new smoker. This is the solution offset. It's a pit that I designed, one that I'm genuinely very, very proud of. If you wanna check it out, you can uh, look in the description below and it'll give you all the information you need about the pit. Uh, but before we can actually get to cooking on it, we've gotta season it up. And this process is the same, whether it's the solution offset, whether you have a Workhorse 1975, a mill scale 94, a Franklin pit, a fill in the blank offset smoker. This is the process that I would recommend. And if you do this simple step that costs you a couple bucks, it's going to maintain the look of the smoker. It's gonna maintain its lifespan for a long, long, long time because you're protecting that metal. And if the metal loses its integrity, then you're not gonna be able to cook the way you want. So my secret weapon when it comes to seasoning a pit is not all that secret and it's not really much of a weapon. It is just regular old cooking spray. So the reason I use this is because it's readily available, uh, it's consistent, and it's made with a, an inexpensive oil. So if you guys wanna know the real truth, let me show you here. So I'd say that I use Pam all the time. What I actually use most of the time is this kind of industrial cooking spray that I get from a restaurant supply store. Um, this you're not gonna find in these huge cans in most grocery stores. If you can find it, any kind of canola oil or cooking oil, that's totally fine. But Pam is available everywhere, so I say Pam. Uh, you can get off-brand Pam, Kroger Pam, Walmart Pam, whatever. It's not just Pam, but canola oil spray. This, because it's already in spray form, is easy to coat evenly on the entire outside surface of the pit. So step one of the process is coat the entire inside and outside of the pit with cooking spray. Step two of the process is build a really big fire. So you need to build a big enough fire so that the oil polymerizes correctly. If the oil is sticky, it's not hot enough. So I would say build a really big fire and if necessary, you can actually use a torch to get the metal hot enough because what you don't want, what you absolutely want to avoid is getting that sticky stuff because it'll attract dust and lint and all kinds of stuff that are gonna make your smoker look horrible instead of looking really sleek and really good. So for this pit behind me, the outside's gonna get sprayed, the inside's gonna get sprayed, and that handle is also gonna get sprayed because there's a little bit of rust on this new unit and I wanna make sure that it doesn't continue to rust. 
But because that handle is intentionally not supposed to get hot, I'm gonna have to heat that part up with a torch so you can see just the regular process of building a really big fire and seasoning this pit on the inside and outside and then using a torch to heat that metal and then hitting it with the spray and then I wipe off any excess oil so that whatever remains is hot enough to polymerize and then we're gonna have a smoker that's ready to start cooking. As a general rule, you wanna keep heating until the outside is no longer sticky. As a guideline, that's usually maybe running the pit at 400 degrees for 90 minutes, something like that, or if you run it at 500 degrees, maybe it's 60 minutes. But if the outside is sticky, you're not done. You need more heat and more time. Other than that, let's get to spraying. Thing. That might be it. Oh, the building fine. All right guys, that is it. The process is that simple. I sprayed a couple extra times on the firebox just because there's so much heat when I'm getting the smoker really, really hot to, to you know try to polymerize all the oil that's on the cook chamber. And if you need it to polymerize more, if it's still sticky at all, you can get a torch and heat up the metal independently from the fire if you need to. But for me, just for simplicity's sake, I only use the torch on the handle to try to make sure that we get a good coating of oil that polymerizes there. And then on the firebox, just a couple extra coats. And now if you look at the smoker, it's got a really glossy finish, which tells me that all of those fats have joined together to form kind of a plastic-like coating on the outside, exactly what we're after. And for me, it just has the side benefit of making the pit look really handsome, in my opinion. Now the stack isn't completely polymerized, Again, if you wanna hit that with a torch, you can. But for me, it's not worth it. If I see some rust, then I might do that. But typically, that coat of oil plus a long period at high heat resolves all those issues and you can just rock with it. One thing that I do, though, one thing I'd recommend for you guys out there is before each cook, I hit the firebox with some oil because the, the firebox is gonna take the majority of the damage, the brunt of the punishment throughout the cook. And then the final note, for the solution pit, I removed the solution scoop that's inside. You might not know what I'm talking about now, but rest assured, very shortly, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. But I removed that scoop so we can dump all that heat directly into the cook chamber and polymerize that oil on the outside. So that's the process. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And for the next several days, I'm gonna to try to get in there and respond to as many of those as I possibly can. But good luck grilling. I appreciate you guys watching. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or any other place, you can follow me at Mad Scientist BBQ. I'll see you guys next time.